Happy Halloween! We're going to go to New York City's biggest costume store and then we're going to show you how to make something we found there. We're here at Halloween Adventures. We're going to check it out and then we're going to go next door to their store, Gothic Renaissance, and look at some really great jewelry. Hey, we're at Halloween Adventures Gothic Renaissance with our friend James. Well, Halloween Adventure is not only all about costumes, it's also about unique jewelry and accessories. Yeah, what is this thing? This is a little handbag. Oh, that's so cute. Look at that. You'd be the belle of the ball. I would be like the belle this. of the ball. And this is where they have most of their really unusual jewelry. Wow, James, check this stuff out. It's really wild. It is, it really is. And most of our stuff is done and created by local artists. We have a little bit of everything. Obviously, we have the goth kids that come into their jewelry and have the fetish scene. And then we have the everyday people that admire and respect unique, original, different pieces of work. You just want like their own work of art to wear, or something like that. Exactly. Yeah. Have you sold any vampires? Well, well obviously. I, mean, I know, what am I thinking? <laughs> it's New York City. <laughs> so what's the craziest piece of jewelry here? Well, I mean, we have many crazy pieces, but in my opinion, this is the most beautiful piece of jewelry and beautiful is crazy to me. Yeah, that really is stunning and so unusual. I mean, truly unique. Like, you're never going to see another one of those. No, obviously not. It's handmade. Mm -hmm. And it's for somebody who definitely likes attention. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm wearing this fabulous ring. There's a lot of detail on this one. And this is a Druzy quartz stone, which is really popular these days. It has a really great rugged look, but it's very sparkly at the same time. One of my favorite pieces of jewelry here in the store are these handmade bugs that are actually pins. So you could be sitting there and have yourself have yourself a little friend. A little friend crawling up. You won't be lonely all day long. So thank you, James. This jewelry is really inspiring me to make something. Let's go back to my studio. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Behold! Pumpkin carving contest! We're looking for photos and 30-second video clips of your best indie mogul carvings. Upload them at our website. The deadline is November 1st. The winner it's a mini DV camera, a complete sound kit, editing software, and DV tapes. Happy Halloween. The bug pins we saw at Gothic Renaissance were really cool. And they got me kind of inspired to think about making one myself. Now, I don't have a lot of supplies here with me today, but I did have this bag of scrap metal. But maybe I tried to design a bug pin on the fly. So the first thing I'm going to do is melt some of my scrap metal for the body of my spider. Okay, that looks like a good size. And now I'm going to do the same for my head. I'm going to cut some wire for my legs. I'm kind of guesstimating how long I need here since I've never made a spider pin before. Now I think it needs more realistic looking feet. So I'm going to ball up the ends of my wire. I simply hold the wire over the flame and let the heat do the rest. Cool it in my water. And there we have a foot. So now I'm going to do the other side. One leg down, three to go. So I got my head and my body and I'm ready to solder it together. And now I'm going to solder my legs on. Help, help, help! Mmm, I guess it's starting to sort of look like an arachnid. <laughs> Please don't take me to task for this. <laughs> I'm not really one to make spiders. I'm gonna now clean it and show you the final product. Okay, so now my spider's done. <coughs> this is arguably the worst thing I've ever made, but who cares, it's Halloween. Have any of you made a spider pin that's better than this? Please, please send it to us. We wanna see your stuff, metalchick.com. Everyone really liked the necklace that Adam made for us. There you go. Ta-da! But a bunch of you wrote in with questions. Just how did Adam get the big beads on? Let's take a look. Bead pins don't really come this large, so we need to create one. And how I do that is by using just silver wire. Use a little bit more than you're going to need. Start by looping it over, then twisting it into place. Just cut off the excess. Take your bead and simply string it through. There you go. 
Obviously you want to do the same thing to the bottom, that way the bead doesn't fall off and you're ready to string it on. See, we really do want to answer your questions. Send us more to MetalChick.com. Next week it's diamonds. And I'm going to show you how to make a simple bag.